Hands. Bloody hell. Rupert Grint is a British actor, producer, and a very successful businessman. He gained fame as a child when he played Harry Potter's best friend in a series of films about young wizards, and since then, he has been trying not to become a hostage of this role. You'll learn all the details from our video. Rupert Grint – How Ron Weasley Lives After Harry Potter Rupert Alexander Lloyd Grint, this is the full name of the actor, was born on August 24, 1988 in the town of Harlow, located in the western part of the English county of Essex. He is the eldest of five children in the family of memorabilia dealer Nigel and housewife Joanna. Rupert has three sisters, Georgina, Samantha, and Charlotte, and a brother, James. The future actor grew up in the village of Watnett Stone in Hertfordshire and dreamed of becoming an ice cream maker. Rupert studied at an old school for boys, where he became interested in theater and began performing in school productions. And on weekends, he attended a local theater studio. In 1999, casting for the film adaptation of the best-selling novel by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone has started. Being a fan of the book series, Grint decided to audition for the role of one of Harry Potter's best friends, Ron Weasley. After seeing a report in the children's news on the BBC channel about an open casting, he recorded a video in which he raps about how he wants to get the role. Mom Joanna supported her son in his acting endeavors and sent his application. Rupert was noticed and invited to a meeting, after which there were several more auditions, and he passed all of them with a bang. On August 8, 2000, 11-year-old Grint was confirmed for the role of Ron. So, so is it true? I mean, do you really have the, the... The what? The scar. Oh. Yeah. Wicked. <sighs> The highest grossing film of 2001 was released on November 16. The role of Ron Weasley overnight turned a shy, red-haired boy into a world-class movie star and brought him $125,000. In addition, Grint received the Satellite Award in the category of Outstanding New Talent and a Young Artist Award for Most Promising Young Newcomer. It's worth noting that Rupert and his character have a lot in common. He is also afraid of spiders and has a sweet tooth. By the way, his favorite delicacy is Nestle chocolate candy. The following year, the actor appeared in a children's comedy film called Thunderpants and in the sequel of the adventure fantasy Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for which he again received $125,000. Grint's arachnophobia is so strong that when they filmed the spider scenes, he didn't even need to play disgust and horror. Because of this, the actor has not yet watched the entire scene where Ron and Harry are in the ravine of Aragog. Another fun fact is that during the filming of Harry Potter, actors could be fined right on the set. Director Chris Columbus came up with a special system for child actors. As soon as someone broke the piece, the culprit had to give 10 pounds sterling. Then the collected money was donated to charity. The most avid troublemaker was Rupert Grint, who paid about 2,500 for the first two films. Moreover, because of the uncontrollable giggling during the filming of some scenes, which then had to be reshot, he earned the nickname Go Again Grint. What have been seen? Of course, I don't blame you, Harry dear. They were starving him, Mum. There were bars on his window. Well, you best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. In May 2004, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban premiered in the UK. 
The movie's crew has undergone significant changes. Mexican director Alfonso Cuaron has replaced Chris Columbus. Before filming began, he asked the performers of the three main characters to write an autobiographical essay about their characters in the first person, but Grint refused. In his opinion, Ron would have never done such a thing. And Cuaron appreciated this response, saying that the actor understands his character correctly. Having collected $795 million at the box office, the third part of the Potter saga became the second highest grossing film of 2004. Grint himself earned another $125,000. By the way, the red-haired boy is the most shy of the star trio. In an interview with The Guardian newspaper, Rupert noted that he has always been very shy, and the only reason he became an actor is that there is an opportunity to hide behind a character and become someone else. It was also reported that Grint repeatedly thought about leaving the project, since such a long work meant that he was sacrificing a large part of his life. Apart from fame, he also disliked studying, so when he turned 16, he left school. In 2005, Grint reprised his role in the fourth film of the series, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. In an interview, the actor repeatedly talked about how much fun he had on the set. Eternal glory. It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Three years from now, when we're old enough to be chosen. Yeah, rather you than me. <laughs> yeah. One day, he confessed that he took a few souvenirs from the set. In particular, he stole a sign with the number of the house where Harry Potter grew up, Privet Drive 4. Another time, he stole a golden dragon egg worth several thousand dollars. James and Oliver Phelps helped him in this, but the thieves were identified and had their valuable items taken from them. The same year, the actor took part in the BBC documentary Happy Birthday, Peter Pan to mark the 100th anniversary of the first production of Peter Pan. In 2006, the filmography of the British actor was replenished with the movie Driving Lessons. During the production of the film about the relationship of an elderly, eccentric actress and a shy teenager, Grint was a minor and didn't know how to drive, so some of the scenes were filmed on private roads, away from the eyes of the police. But when he turned 18, he passed the driving test after two attempts. Did you do that? Felt like it. My mother's gonna kill me. You don't understand. She said I wasn't to come. I asked and she said no. You don't say yes when my mother says no. You don't do it. Rupert also participated in the children's party at the palace, held on June 25 in honor of the 80th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II. The guest's attention was captured by the production The Queen's Purse, for which several scenes with Harry Potter and his friends Ron and Hermione were pre-recorded. The fifth part of the magical film franchise, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, was released in 2007. This time, Grint was paid $4 million for the role, making him the 16th highest paid young superstar, according to Forbes magazine. At the same time, he voiced Ron Weasley for the computer game of the same name, and together with his Harry Potter partners, left hand and footprints in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. In 2009, Rupert played the main role in the drama Cherry Bomb. After the premiere at the Berlin International Film Festival, the film encountered difficulties finding a distributor, which were resolved after the actor's fans organized an online petition, and in 2010, the film was released in the UK. It also didn't take long for another installment about the boy who lived, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Will you stop eating? Your best friend is missing! Oi! Turn around, you lunatic. Rupert, who was nicknamed Ginger on set, became friends in real life with many colleagues in the Potter series. Together with the Phelps twins, he assembled a working model of an airplane, and then they shot an animated video about the adventures of a Lego man. They say it turned out very cool. By the way, Grint and the Phelps brothers visited Spain, where they took part in a rally in Europe 
taking 19th place. In these same 2010s, the actor's filmography was replenished with the comedy Wild Target and the first part of the saga finale Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And a year later, the audience saw the last film of the beloved franchise. On their way out of the cinemas, many viewers were crying, longing to say goodbye to their favorite characters. For two films, the actor received $15 million each. What should we do with it? We? Just saying, that's the Elder Wand. Most powerful wand in the world. With that, we'd be invincible. During the filming of the Potter saga, there were rumors in the press that Rupert Grint and Emma Watson were dating. The actor himself never tired of saying that they were just friends. At different points in time, he was also reportedly romantically involved with singer Lily Allen, who allegedly turned to the Harry Potter star to console her after she miscarried and broke up with her boyfriend, vocalist Katie Lewis, and actress Kimberly Nixon, with whom Grint starred in Cherry Bomb. Meanwhile, in 2011, the media learned that the actor had a romantic relationship with Georgia Groom. According to some rumors, they met on the set and almost immediately began to live together. According to other reports, they met in a restaurant favored by creative youth in London. Soon, the young people found out that they had a lot in common. Both loved to spend time casually at noisy parties and were not obsessed with the external gloss. The actor didn't want to publicize their relationship, but occasionally there were pictures of the couple together in the media. After 10 years of filming Harry Potter, Rupert took a long time to get himself together and figure out what he wanted out of life. His fame knocked him out so much that after the franchise ended, he decided to step away from the film industry for a while to recuperate. The first thing he did was to remove his tonsils. According to the actor, the producers of the Potter franchise forbade him to have surgery because they were afraid that after that, Ron Weasley's voice would change. Nevertheless, Rupert is eternally grateful to the project for the experience gained, and he treats his character very reverently. Of course, he was not out of work for very long. Soon, he pleased the audience with the appearance in the video of his friend Ed Sheeran on his hit Lego House. Also in 2011, Rupert Grint and his Harry Potter colleague Tom Felton became the basis of the advertising campaign of the fashion brand Band of Outsiders. It should be noted that in real life, Rupert and Tom are good friends. By the way, the movie star also took part in the Make Mine Milk advertising campaign from the British trade association Dairy UK aimed at encouraging the consumption of this drink. In 2012, Grint, along with such British stars as Stephen Fry, Julie Walters, and Michelle Dockery, starred in a promotional video for the tourist website Visit England with a call to travel around the UK without going abroad for the Christmas holidays. In the same year, an anti-war drama based on real events Into the White was released on the screens. In the film about the crews of English and German combat aircraft trapped in snow in an abandoned hunting lodge, Rupert played the role of the gunner Robert Smith. Where's the toilet? Toilet is out there, and then left. Here, toilet paper. That's not toilet paper. In addition, he continued his work as a voice actor, voicing one of the characters of the animated series American Dad, and became one of the participants of the Olympic torch relay on the eve of the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. In 2013, fans of the actor saw him in the thriller Charlie Countryman and in the musical film CBGB. It is about the iconic underground nightclub of New York and its founder. Grint also starred in the TV series Super Clyde, but the CBS channel did not approve the project and after the release of the pilot episode, it was canceled. That same year, Rupert appeared in two videos for a theme park attraction in Florida. Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts and Hogwarts Express, and he also took part in the voiceover of the English-language version of the cartoon Underdogs, 
and in the animated film Postman Pat, where he played Josh. In 2013, the media learned that Grint will play a leading role in the film adaptation of William Shakespeare's tragedy Macbeth, called Instruments of Darkness. The filming began in January 2014 in the UK, but the film is still not finished and it's doubtful whether it will ever be released. Meanwhile, Rupert decided to keep up with his colleague Daniel Radcliffe and performed on Broadway. He played one of the main roles in the production of It's Only a Play. The show started on August 28, 2014 and ended in January 2015. And although this was the actor's first performance on Broadway, the theater scene is not new to him since he previously participated in the play Mojo in London. Also in 2015, the actor appeared in the failed comedy Moonwalkers and took part in the recording of the audiobook series Tom Gates, based on the works of children's author Liz Pichon. Soon, Grint became a participant in several episodes of the entertainment TV project Tracy Ullman's show. But 2017 turned out to be much more intense for the actor. He was involved in the VR short film Snatch, Time Heist, and several TV series Urban Myths, Sick Note, and Snatch, where for the first time he also acted as an executive producer. The role in Snatch brought Rupert a nomination for the National Movie Award of Great Britain for Best Actor. So have we got our tisano, Charlie boy? Brahms and Liszt, a vanilla and cardamom infusion, all sailing at 400% markup on piss-cheap Serbian vodka. And you found some tool stupid enough to buy all this hipster shite, have you? The following year, he continued to star in TV projects, appearing in the miniseries The ABC Murders. In it, the audience saw the actor in an unusual role, playing Inspector Chrome. And then he began work on the mystical series Servants. The first season was released in November 2019. The second premiered in January 2021. Viewers saw the third part of this chilling story in 2022, and the fourth has just recently premiered. I heard a noise. I went upstairs. The Dorothy came home for When was this? Yesterday. Damn fucking thing's been here all night. I didn't know what to do. I called you for help. By the way, in 2019, paparazzi spotted wedding rings on the ring fingers of Grint and his girlfriend Georgia. Fans immediately concluded that the actor secretly married his beloved. The news about Rupert Grint's newly made family instantly spread online, and the actor himself hastened to refute the information. But few people believed him, because the day before in an interview, he mentioned his readiness to start a family. In May 2020, the actor's couple had a daughter, who was named Wednesday. According to rumors, she was born on this day of the week. Soon, the actor announced his intention to end his film career and try himself as a woodworker, carpenter, or construction worker. Earlier, the media reported that the former Ron Weasley became interested in beekeeping and is thinking about releasing his own brand of honey. Meanwhile, in a special in honor of the 20th anniversary of the first movie of the cult franchise, he still appeared. Harry Potter 20th Anniversary Return to Hogwarts was released on January 1st, 2022 on the streaming service HBO Max. The actor also appeared in the horror series Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. Although you thought this might be the wrong side. I know the other side is real. I've seen it. But how am I ever supposed to prove that to the masses? On February 1st, 2023, the action-packed film Knock at the Cabin with Rupert Grint and Dave Bautista in the lead roles was released. The actor loves music, especially classic rock and roll, and even plays guitar a little, as well as the folk wind instrument didgeridoo. As a true Englishman, he loves soccer and has been rooting for the British club Tottenham Hotspur since childhood. He is not very athletic, but he can ride a unicycle, which he learned when he was a kid. Grint loves movies starring his idol Jim Carrey, especially Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. In an interview, Rupert admitted that he had no idea how much money he actually had. Presumably, the actor's net worth is about 50 million. 
earning enormous sums of money, he never denied himself anything. For example, with his first royalties, Grint bought a hovercraft and an ice cream delivery van, which was his childhood dream. The actor said that it was his first car, and in order to be able to sell ice cream, he got a license, after which he drove around the neighborhood distributing treats for free. Rupert also admitted that when he was about 16 years old and he lived with his parents, he bought alpacas and pigs, which he settled in the backyard of the house, starting his own mini zoo. Now he realizes that it was a stupid idea. The actor didn't neglect charity, helping poor and sick children, donating impressive sums to various funds, and participating in special auctions. For example, one day he painted a picture of a butterfly and sold it at auction and transferred the money to the needs of a British hospice. Having fulfilled his childhood dreams and carried out socially useful activities, Rupert set out to increase his capital by investing in business and opened several companies that sell real estate in London, which allowed him to build an empire worth, as of 2020, 24 million pounds, with most of these houses and investments in his home district. And in order to expand it, he founded another company, which buys up real estate outside of London in the UK. The exact number and location of his property is known only to the actor himself and his associates, which incidentally are Grint's parents. Let's talk about the most famous objects in one way or another involved in the family business. In 2009, Rupert purchased an 18th century mansion with two swimming pools and a private cinema for 5.4 million pounds, located on the Kimpton Grange estate. It is believed that he never lived here as the building needed repair. After the actor failed to sell this property for £6 million in 2018, he applied to the local administrative council for permission to develop a plot of almost 22 acres on the outskirts of the picturesque village. According to the developed plan, the old mansion with six bedrooms will be turned into six separate apartments. The plans include the demolition of the barn and landscaping of the territory, where there will be another pond in addition to the existing one, an outdoor swimming pool, gym, tennis courts, and decorative walled gardens, as well as nine more properties, four townhouses, and five separate houses. Grint and his team promise to pay special attention to environmental safety. Everything will be arranged according to the rules of sustainable development and resource saving. However, eco-advocates do not approve of this project because they fear that its implementation may require cutting down about 50 trees, which will destroy the forest landscape and negatively affect its inhabitants. In addition, if houses are built on this property, some neighbors will no longer have access to the lake. Earlier, reports appeared in the media that the actor was suspected of trying to obtain a construction permit through bribing local residents. Three more of Rupert's properties are located around his native village of Watton at Stone and cost £9.2 million. Three more are registered to his parents. In addition, Grint and his father are co-owners of a house worth £495,000 which they renovated and now rent out for almost £3,000 a month. As for the cars, in 2010, there was information on the internet that in addition to the famous ice cream van, he has a pink BMX bike and an orange Range Rover. In 2015, for £200,000, he bought a classic Ferrari Testarossa, which means redheaded in Italian. He also has an Audi Q, an Audi R8, and a British-made supercar, the McLaren MP4 12C. Despite the talk of ending his acting career, Rupert Grint is still in business. Do you think any of his roles can outshine Ron Weasley? I think he's made himself perfectly clear, don't you, Smith? I'm short, but to the point, sir. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.